Please, no! Oh, it's you, Corva. Havelock called us into the yard, but I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Did you do that? Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. What a day, huh? Gonna be a great party tonight. I was only a kid. Refreshing to converse with someone on my own. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you... About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... The river crusts, yes. I'd guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. <clears throat> Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Arc Pylon is complete. 
now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? I should have guessed you'd want to act decisively. It's a simple adjustment, and we will be ready. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honor? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. Tell me again what you'll do with slack jaw and pilot before we jump you. Another night, another patrol with you. <coughs> Description. So many lives silenced in an instant. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton. Though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well.
I don't know if anyone will hear this. The others took Emily away in a boat. I don't know where and her hair hadn't been combed yet. I worry who will look after her. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see.